I yield to Mr. G Mr. Mr. Beto. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this this subpoena one is not necessary, and quite frankly, it's not following the law. I, I can tell you that what, what we have here is a political spectacle. And we're talking about keeping politics out of government. This subpoena is nothing more than a political spectacle. And, and I, we are better than this, Mr. Chairman. We are better than this. I, I can tell you, as we look at this particular Hatch Act violation, so-called Hatch Act violation, if you look at what the Hatch Act is all about, it's about protecting federal employees. We're not doing any of that here today. In fact, we're setting a dangerous course where we're going to bring in every federal employee that has a Hatch Act violation when, when we are going to go and put a subpoena and put them on, on trial right here before Congress. It is wrong, Mr. Chairman. And I, I can tell you that if you look at what the Hatch Act is all about, it is not about Kellyanne Conway and her speech. Because if we're going to have the same standard, let me just tell you, there is ethical complaints about every single member of Congress that does some kind of TV hit here in the Capitol where they start to talk about it. Mr. Swalwell, Mr. Schiff, they, if we're going to use the same standard, they are, are violating, indeed would be violating the very rules of this House. And I, I can tell you, that as we start to look at this, this the is a... Yield? No, I will not yield. You, you will have not. time in opposition. I'm sure that the chairman will allow you to do that. And here's, here's what is troubling, Mr. Chairman. As we start to look at this subpoena, we have one standard for Kellyanne Conway and another standard for everybody else. And so if you're going to subpoena people, let's subpoena Samantha Powers. Let's make sure she comes in because you know what I have? I've got emails on her official account where she was going after Donald Trump while she was working for our government and indeed at the same time was unmasking individuals. So if we want to hold people accountable, let's do it with the same standard because I don't think it's right to hold her to a different standard. Gen Gentlemen, you'll... I will to, to my friend. Let me be not clear. to suggest the other person was not my friend. Yeah, thanks a whole heck of a yeah, lot, yeah. Mr. Meadows. <laughs> Let me be clear. I think that we have gotten to a point, sadly, where disobeying the law is okay. But this is not disobeying, reclaiming yes, my time. Yes, it is. Mr. Reclaiming it my is. time. It is my time, reclaiming my time. I'm just I can you know. promise you that paragraph E gives a waiver. So I want to hear from Mr. Kerner. Who gets a waiver? Because you know what? When you go out and you state the fact, that is not political campaigning. She's not asking for contributions. She's not asking for anything other than... She's not even campaigning. She has a microphone stuck in her face, and, and she is responding. You've done the same thing, Mr. Chairman. And so I, I would just say, let's be careful about the standard we're about to hold. I'll